بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته This is Riyad Rajazi. We're coming here to the uh, see a series walking with the with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or upon the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi wasallam. I'll just give a minute for more people to join, inshallah. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. Wa alaikum assalam, mullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? Today, inshallah ta'ala, we will spend more time with the Prophet Muhammad السلام, with his salah, with his, uh, uh, with his wudu, and also with his food. What does he eat? Today, we will, we will, uh, we will be invited to eat with the Prophet Muhammad All right. So I hope you guys uh, uh, are hungry because we're gonna go and eat. Uh, Breakfast, lunch, and dinner with the Prophet Muhammad Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All right. Just I want to give a minute or two for more people to join, inshallah. So just uh, uh, just be be patient, inshallah. I don't understand why, whenever I use my phone, I cannot get here or read comments from the people on facebook on instagram is fine but on facebook i cannot i don't know i don't understand so uh, one second please there we go طيب يلا let's start ان شاء الله تعالى لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله ان شاء الله will, uh, I did not know but I will give them a call ان شاء الله I will give them a call alright brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته this is Riyad Rajazi welcome you all to the uh, Sira series walking with the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, we have uh, started this series several months uh, back and uh, the last uh, couple of weeks since we moved, we migrated to Medina, we, uh, we were spending you know, time in the house of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and going with the Prophet and walking with him, you know, spending time you know, in his daily schedule. What does he do? And then we've just been going with him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we accompanied him from his home to the masjid and from the masjid to back to his uh, homes visiting his wives and then back to the masjid where he uh, gave that you know that uh, the mud you know the, the, the madrasa time the school time you know the the lecturing time that happens uh, uh, around yeah and the doha time and then from there on when he went into the markets so we followed him into the markets if you remember alayhi salatu salam and spending time with him in the markets you know greeting people smiling you know shaking hands with people tasting people's food uh, and at the same time giving you know admonition and giving uh, 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 whenever he sees fit he would give uh, uh, he would give certain you know uh, admonitions uh, to the to the sahaba to the merchants to the business people to the traders sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he would go back home around noon you know uh, this is around now it's noon time where he uh, you know uh, would get ready for salat al, al, uh, for the uh, well he would eat his uh, his food but before that you know let's just say Rasulullah he's getting ready to come back and pray Dhuhr right he's getting ready to come back and pray Dhuhr so now he will go and make his wudu right so let us go together and see Rasulullah making wudu are you guys ready for this I told you this is not just any seerah, right? It is not just seerah of the Prophet. This is beyond the seerah. We're going deep into living with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All right. So, uh, are you guys ready, sisters and brothers? Are you ready now? Inshallah Taala, we will go and uh, Inshallah. Um, um, 
watch the Prophet making wudu. We're going to watch him pray and see how he prays. And then from there on, inshallah ta'ala, we will go and, and have lunch with him. How about that? Huh? How about that? So, everybody's ready, inshallah. Let's see the Prophet Muhammad making wudu now. He's going to make wudu now, inshallah. All right? So, let's do this. Welcome back. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Those of you on Facebook, salam alaikum, and those of you on Instagram. Alrighty, so here's Rasulullah making wudu. And here's the beauty. The beauty about this, brothers and sisters, is that I make you, uh, as if I make you watch things, right? You know, some people, they commented, they sent me the text saying, it's not like we know the seerah, but you make it look like we, we are living with the Prophet. And this is the, this is the purpose of the series. The purpose of the series is that we are walking with the Prophet. This is why I call it walking with the Prophet upon the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad. So we went with him from his home when he stepped out to go to the masjid and then from the masjid back to his home, you know, in during the early morning and then coming back into the masjid, teaching the Sahaba and then going into the markets, you know, and, and greeting people and, 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 and saying salam and giving, you know, admonitions to the merchants and and then now he's going to the masjid to pray the whole, right? So here's Prophet Muhammad السلام, making wudu. He goes. And Aisha, she brings him because he makes wudu before he goes to the masjid. This is very important. He does not make wudu in the masjid. No, he makes wudu at home before going to the masjid. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And by the, by the way, brothers and sisters, wudu is ibadah. Some people, they just like, you know, just, just splash water everywhere, you know, uh, to get rid. No, no, no. Wudu is ibadah. So you have to do it to feel it, to do it properly. You want to feel that you're doing wudu. You know, imagine that, subhanAllah, when you make wudu, everything that the water touches, the sins come out from your hands. When the, wa the water touches your hands and then you go with your hands like this, you know, making sure that the, that the water touches between your fingers and stuff. The, the, the Prophet Muhammad says, the, 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 the sins, they fall off. So somebody is making wudu like, just like water, 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 splashing it up. So, and then somebody else who's making wudu properly, you know, you know, imagining that all the sins are falling off as that person is making wudu. Right? So, you know, when, uh, when, you, when you rinse your mouth and then you, you know, and you spit out the water, the sins come out from your mouth. When you, when you uh, uh, inhale and exhale, right, you know, from, that, from your nose, also the sins come out from your nose. You know, when you wash your face, the sin come out from your face. When you wash your hands, the, sin, the sins come out from your hands and so on and so forth. So it is ibadah, right? It is a worship. Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So first and foremost, what does the Prophet do, brothers and sisters, those out there on Facebook and on and, and Instagram? What does the Prophet do before making wudu? There is another ibadah that he has to do. Who can tell me what that ibadah is? Whether you are on Facebook or on Instagram, there is an ibadah that the Prophet has to do before, before he starts making his wudu. What is this ibadah? Who can tell me? And I'm sure you, you know, some of you will. Either on Facebook or on Instagram. Today, people are slow, you know, logging in for some reason. I don't know why the numbers are getting uh, low. I mean, low today, but hey, it's all right. What does the Prophet do before making wudu? Does anybody know? Making dua? No, before making dua. No, no. Miswak? No. Before the miswak. Yes, Bayzu Aziz. Yes, Bayzu Aziz. The niya. The niya. Are you are you from uh, are you from Indonesia, brother? Bayzu Aziz. Are you from Indonesia, right? You're from Indonesia. And it's very early in Indonesia, by the way. It's 5:47 p.m. here. It's 5:47 a.m. there. So uh are you from indonesia by the way so yeah ziz, ziz, ziz. whatever your name is <laughs> you pick up these names you're from indonesia i'm just wanna you know because i think he told me he's from indonesia or malaysia but i think he's in indonesia right whatever the niya yes the intention yes okay good mashallah assalamu alaikum 
Tamar. So the Niya, and the Niya, you don't have to mention it, you don't have to utter the world, I am making intention to make wudu. No, the intention is in the heart. <laughs> the intention is in the heart, right? You intend to make wudu. You don't have to, it does not make you, you know, because the intention is ibadah as well, right? Your intention is ibadah. So you're just intending your heart that you're making wudu. So the Prophet Muhammad starts with that intention. And then, and then, and this is again from the heart. And then he uses the miswak. Then the miswak, as some of you have said. He takes the miswak and then he yastak. Tulan wa ardan. Brothers, this is how the Prophet uses miswak. Let me see if I have a miswak here with me. I had a miswak. I had a miswak. I don't know where it disappeared. <laughs> So the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, you know, he takes the miswak and he says, طولاً, طولاً You know, from the here like this and then like this. Or like this and then like this. From here like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, and then right, left, right, left, right, left. Right? This is the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, doing miswak. So the first thing is the niyyah, the second thing is the miswak, and then the third thing is a tasmiyah. What does he say? He says, Bismillah. Bismillah. So the you know, brothers and sisters, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, you start. In the name of Allah, you start your day. In the name of Allah, you start, you know, your exam. In the name of Allah, you open the door and you leave your home. In the name of Allah, you open the door and you come into your home. In the name of Allah, you start your business. In the name of Allah, you be you get your you know be intimate with your spouse. In the name of Allah, you eat your food. In the name of Allah, you start your work. In the name of Allah, you start your exercise. In the name of Allah, you start cooking. Anything that you do before you do it, Bismillah. Bismillah. You start with Bismillah in the name of Allah. So the Prophet Muhammad say Bismillah. And then he start by washing his hands. Right? Washing his hands. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tadlik al asabi'. This is something that a lot of people don't do. Tadlik al asabi'. Go in between the, you know, between the 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 the, the, the fingers. You know, here between the fingers, brothers, this is very important. So as you go and then like this, one, two, three. I mean, three times is the sunnah of the Prophet. I know once is the fard, but Prophet Muhammad used to do it three times, right? One would be sufficient, but the sunnah is to do it three times, you know, once. It's not like, okay, no, three times and making sure that you are, you know, rubbing your 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 hands and between your 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 fingers right here it's very important right this is yeah. so and then alayhi salatu was salam and then he takes the water and then yatamadmad Right? Yeah, it's a He raises his mouth. He like, can you can use it as well? Right? Rinsing his mouth three times. Sallallahu. It's not like <laughs> some people do that. I've seen it. I've seen that. They just <laughs> you know, you take water and spit it out. No, man. Why are you rushing? <laughs> Why are you rushing? Don't rush your wudu. Wudu is ibadah. Don't rush it. Take your time. So he used to take, you know, the water. And there's two narrations. With one rinse, he would use some for the water. And some for the, you know, using it for also blowing his nose at the same time. So he did both, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now he's doing, you know, he's rinsing his mouth. 
عليه الصلاة يتمضمض 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 عليه الصلاة والسلام and then يستنشق ويستنثر and after that يستنشق يعني he takes water with his right as if he's breathing out you know, or in and then and then he's you know breathes out like he you know يستنثر uh, يستنثر he brings out that water out from his nose to clean his mouth uh, his nose عليه الصلاة والسلام so he cleaned his mouth and then he cleaned his nose عليه الصلاة والسلام three times you know brothers and sisters in Japan in Japan some Japanese people embraced Islam because they saw some Muslims making wudu it's a true story they just saw some people in a parking lot some Muslims in a parking lot those people who traveled you know, out there to do da'wah right so they saw some people in the parking lot making wudu and they were just so amazed just with wudu why they said first you touch the water this is how they embrace islam they said we just watched watched you you know cleaning yourself why are you cleaning yourself says we're cleaning ourselves to get ready for our prayer they said what actually intrigued us is how you were cleaning yourself how he says first you touch the water then you 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 tasted the water and then you smell the water before you put it in your face allahu akbar allahu akbar look at the japanese people how meticulous attention they were they were taking looking and now and paying attention to these people making noise says no look it is not he says first you touch the water then you tasted it and then you smelled it before you put it into your into your face and then he you know ajib and then they said what's this religion what is this they told him about islam and they said well, yeah good we like that they embraced islam in the parking lot in japan anyways and then the prophet muhammad would wash his face he would take water with his two hands i just said now we've seen him see him look at him look at his you know he's washing his face from here from the top of his forehead all the way here this is all his face then he rub it and making sure his eyes you no know, rub it and then his beard he you know between his beard sisters you don't have to do this right sisters you don't have to do this this is only for the brothers and then the prophet Muhammad will make sure will rinse between you know between his beard with the water so then he takes again one more time and then he you know like this all here you know make sure the water touches every part of his face sallallahu alayhi wasallam he does that three times alayhi salatu wasallam bayna shahmati udli all the way and from here right until here so this is all the face from here from here from here up to here you know here this is all the face right here right here this is all the face right all the face so there goes all your makeup sisters there goes all your maskara sisters there goes all your maskara maskara makhraja madkhala mafra'a matana or whatever you call it it's gone you've got to make wudu it's not like you know oh I, it's going to ruin my makeup it's going to ruin my makeup so just a... no 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 sissies no sisters and brother no you take the water and you wash your face once you're done you will do your salah then you can put me your makeup again you know go back and put your makeup but don't just like a or you take or you take some water uh in a in a in a cloth right you take a cloth and then you just uh like a cloth and then put some some water and just what are you doing, sister? I'm making wudu. Huh? Are you making wudu? Oh, yeah, I'm making wudu. What kind of wudu is this? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, brothers, as well. But it's not just like the, the waters at your face and then you move on. No, you do it properly like the Prophet Muhammad was doing. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says when you do that, all the sins come out from your face. 
all the sins they come out from your face when you're you know you when you're when you're making wudu just like that alayhi salatu wasalam and when and then after that alayhi salatu wasalam ghasal yadayhi ila al marfiqayn and then he washes his hand all the way up to his to his elbow this is something very very important sisters and brothers when you take the water you know with one hand and then you put it like this right and then you make sure like I'll show you So I says the water, and then make sure it reaches, you know, up to your elbow or even more. Uthman bin Affan, he used to go all the way up. He says this is this is the Prophet says he used to go all the way, like all the way up, almost sometimes to his shoulders, because the sins they come out and nur, the nur of Allah as he says nur from wudu, the nur, the, the nur of wudu. So making sure that you know right. Right here, and again, one more time between between the fingers. Right, this is once, and then you order again, and then right here, making sure. So don't just like here until here. No, it has to go all the way as the Prophet Muhammad right now is doing. Right, he's this is what he's doing. He's making wudu, making sure that it touches the marfiqin, al marfiqin. You know this this place here, the 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 elbow right here. So he washes here, and then he does the same thing. You know, he starts with the right. And then he goes with the left, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahumma Salli wa Sallam ala Nabiina Muhammad. And then brothers and sisters, Ali Sallallahu and then Yamsahu Ras. After he does that, he wipes on his head. So he takes the water and then he goes up, down, and then the ears as well. The ears from inside and outside inside inside and outside sallallahu alayhi wasallam right so we'll go back and forth if if i mean this is the sunnah to go up and down but you can only do you know if you're <laughs> again your hair and you have uh, play you know you have these uh, uh you know you braided your hair you know and whatnot so you go uh and down or just once you know once if you if you're again you have some hair uh, uh issues or you have uh, so, you know a lot of hair and you don't want to mess up your whatever it is subhanallah so you can do at least you know here but the prophet used to do up down and then the ears sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dhahaban wa maji'an dhahaban wa maji'an Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And men, just like women, are making wudu the same way. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyina Muhammad. And then after he does that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after he does that, and then he start washing his uh, feet, alayhi salatu wa sallam. And brothers and sisters, when he washes his feet, he makes sure, you know, the feet, he makes sure that here, the, wa the water touches, you know, uh, all the way, you know, your Ka'bain, you know, right here. Make sure everything is, you know, is you know, the water touches everything right here and right here. Not just in, not just you know, here and here, but also up here. Making sure like this, you know, this side here, this bone right here, it has also to touch the water and and the Ka'bain and the, the heels also did have to touch the water, as the Prophet Muhammad says, oh, to the heels from hill from the fire. All to the hiss from fire, all to the hiss from fire, because the water does not touch the fire when they're making wudu. The water does not touch the heels. So he says, making sure that you know the water goes and make sure it touches all your, you know, all the all the, uh, the the whole uh, uh, foot. And after that, brothers and sisters, the Prophet will say the du'a, as I am hearing him, I'm I'm hearing him right now, saying the du'a, the du'a after finishing wudu. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد على كل شيء قدير اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد على كل شيء قدير اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين and his wudu is done now he's ready to go and pray salat al duha صلى الله عليه وسلم he prays sunnah at home he prays sunnah at home, 
and then Bilal will call him when people come, you know, and gather in congregation in the masjid. Then Bilal comes to his home from outside and then he calls him as salah as salah Ya Rasulullah. And then the Prophet Muhammad will step out from his home again, you know, with his uh, uh, entering the masjid with his right foot, saying the dua of entering the masjid, Bismillah, uh, Then he goes into the masjid, he goes inside, and then he prays Salat al Duhr, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad. And then, brothers and sisters, after the salah, remember we talked already about the, the, the dua and everything. You know, this is when we we uh, did when we talked about Salat al Fajr. You know, talking about Prophet Muhammad. You know, uh, making you know uh, praying and how he prays Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now he goes back home for his you know light meal. You know, uh, with his wife, whoever's turn is Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What does he eat? What does he eat for lunch? Are you guys ready for this now, brothers and sisters? Are you following me so far? Are you people following me so far? Those of you on Facebook and those of you on Instagram, are you following the day with the Prophet Muhammad? He made wudu, and after making wudu, he went and he, uh, um, you know, prayed Salat al Duhr. After prayed Salat al Duhr, you know, he went home because, uh, you know, that's where he prays his sunnah. Ali he he prays his sunnah at home. He always prays the sunnah at home. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Unless, unless in certain cases where he goes and prays in the masjid, like tahajjud, you know, qiyam al layl. Sometimes he prays in the masjid by the post of at tahajjud, or sometimes he prays the you know the uh, salat al duha at the masjid. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, but he uh, um, he uh, you know tries as much as as he could you know, whenever he can now he prays the sunnah and he tells the sahaba to pray the sunnah in their homes alayhi salatu wassalam so prophet muhammad alayhi salam and his food prophet muhammad he never ate until he was totally full brothers sisters listen very attentively prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he never ate until he was totally totally full Abadan. Abadan. Sometimes for two months he would not have anything at home other than water and maybe some dates. So and his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He stepped out one day. When he stepped out, he stepped out, he was going out, and then he late at night found Abu Bakr and Umar. And he told them, what brought you out? He said, yeah, so we, 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 we're hungry. You know, we're hungry. I have nothing to eat. He said, hunger. Ya Rasulullah, hunger. And then the Prophet says, The Prophet says, by the one who holds my soul, my soul, I only, what, what brought me out is the same, that what brought you out. Yeah, and also I came out because I was angry. And then he found Abu Bakr and Umar putting one stone and, and, and tight, tighten that stone, that rock around their belly because they're hungry. So they, they took a rock, you know, like a stone, and then they, they, they tied it around their, 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 their waist. Prophet Muhammad, he had two rocks, two stones, you know, tight, you know, around his, uh, uh, around his belly. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad. Hakada. But, um, let's just go with him because we're uh, with him. We're invited. We're invited to you know eat with Prophet Muhammad alayhi as-salatu wassalam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. By the way, Prophet Muhammad always whenever he eats, one more time, Bismillah, Bismillah, you know, and uh, he would eat from his right and with his right hand alayhi salatu wassalam. And if it's something hot. Allahumma barikna fi ma'taytana wa qina adab anna. And if it's uh, halib, illa, illa, uh, if it's something you know not hot, Allahumma barikna fi ma razaqtana wa zidna khayran min. Wa Allah barik lana, bless us with whatever you have blessed us with. Barik lana fi ma razaqtana, bless whatever you have given us. Wa zidna khayran min, and grant us more khayr of it. 
This is the dua of the Prophet Muhammad you know, uh, when he uh, used to eat alayhi salatu wassalam. And then after finishing his food, he would say, Alhamdulillah, الذي أطعمنا هذا وحمدلله الذي أطعمني هذا ورزقني من غير حول مني ولا قوة. These du'as, brothers and sisters, you can find in the in the fortress of the Muslim, the du'a of the Prophet Muhammad after eating or before eating. So after the eating, he would say, Alhamdulillah, الذي أطعمنا هذا or أطعمني هذا ورزقني من غير حول مني ولا قوة. صلى الله عليه وسلم. اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد. Allahumma salli wa sallam. By the way, brothers, brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad used to eat with three fingers. Three, not five, not ten. Three fingers, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you have a spoon today, you want to use a spoon, fine. If you have a fork and you want to use fork, it's fine. There's, it's not, you cannot say, oh, it is not sunnah, it is haram to use fork, it is haram to use knife, it is haram to use spoon. No, it is not haram. You want to use your spoon, use your spoon. You want to use your fork, use your fork. You want to use your, your hand, yes, use your hand and eat with three fingers as the Prophet Muhammad used to do. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, you know, the, 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 Right? And then he would mix it up, 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 mix it up until it becomes, until the, 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 the honey dissolves, you know, within the water. And then he would drink it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That was his breakfast, alayhi wa sallam, with some dates. How many dates? Seven dates. He would always start with seven dates, alayhi wa sallam. Now, al-ghada. So breakfast of the Prophet is date... And that water would, uh, uh, sometimes he would eat dates with leban. Leban means milk or buttermilk. So sometimes he would eat dates with milk. But before that, he would use that water with honey. So he would drink water with honey first for breakfast. And then he will have uh, leban, leban with, 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 uh, with dates. And then for lunch now, because we're invited for lunch with him. So here he is, he will invite brothers and sisters. Oh, you're gonna be hungry. <laughs> you're going to be you're going to stay hungry today. <laughs> because there's not much. <laughs> there is not much. Here's 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 the, the sufra. Here's the sufra. We're sitting with the Prophet Muhammad -Salam in this beautiful gathering right here. We're sitting on the floor. So he brings the sufra, he puts the sufra on the floor, and then he brings each a loaf of Bread from barley, sha'ir. The Prophet Muhammad used to like sha'ir. Sha'ir is barley. You know, like wheat. Barley bread, alayhi salatu wasalam. And then he used to mix that with zit al-zaytun, olive oil. With some apple vinegar. Apple vinegar with olive oil and barley bread. That is lunch. <laughs> I told you you're going to stay hungry today. <laughs> but that is lunch. That's what he has. And he used to have this most of the time in his home. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Raghif, bread, uh, no, barley, uh, with zayt zaytun, the, uh, the olive oil. And he would just, you know, with, with the... the um, but of course, not all the time. I would tell you some other times where he would eat other, you know, something else. But the majority of the time, this is his lunch. Barley bread with zayt zaytun, olive oil. And then khal uh, al-tufah. Uh, khal al-tufah is the, the apple vinegar. Sallallahu alayhi wa And of course, as you know, the, the benefits of olive oil and, and apple vinegar, there are myriads of benefits, subhanAllah. You know, fighting against the uh, uh, the cancer of bone cancer, uh, skin cancer, uh, and you name it, Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, in his dinner, his dinner is also very light. His dinner, he would have leban, 
leaven, like you know, uh, milk or or goat or uh, uh, buttermilk, uh, and sometimes, sometimes, like you know, he would have uh, uh, again maybe a loaf of bread, but oftentimes milk and maybe some dates or 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 uh, yeah, any if he had any fruits, alayhi he would eat carrots. Huh? Yes, carrots. He used to love to eat carrots, alayhi salatu al You know, and in terms of, let me tell you more, because his favorite food, things that he used to like eating, alayhi salatu wasalam, you know, things that he used to love eating, alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, uh, especially in the summer, in the summer he used to like, you know, from the fruits, he used to like, you know, that uh, not watermelon, the red one, but the yellow one, the yellow watermelon. It's called, I think, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, you know, uh, watermelon, that that melon, the yellow one. He used to like that in the asfar uh, uh, and and the ahmar as well, and the watermelon during the the winter, uh, the winter summer. Uh, of course, in the summer, you know, that's where people have, you know, the the watermelon uh, normally. From the type of of uh, 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 meat that he used to like, he used to like lahm al ghanam, and from lahm al ghanam, the ghanam, يعني the lamb meat. From the lamb meat, brothers and sisters, he used to like he used to like the al katif, the shoulder. That was his favorite part of the uh, lamb. You know, he would eat the shoulder from the shoulder. Sallallahu He also used to like fish. He also used to like fish. Also, Sallallahu he used to like to eat the, the meat of uh, camel meat. He ate camel meat and he used to like it as well. So we don't have it here in Canada. <laughs> um, I'm sure in the UK as well. Maybe if you are in, in Saudi or in Qatar or in, uh, uh, or in uh, Kuwait or, or, or in Palestine, maybe, you know, but we don't have uh, camel meat here. Sometimes chicken as well, you know, chicken, alayhi salam. He used to love rabbit, the meat of the rabbit. Yes, he used to like the rabbit meat. I don't know, brother, you, have, I don't know if you, I ate, I tasted, I ate rabbit before. Uh, it tastes like chicken. It's really, really good, really nice. It tastes like chicken. And also the liver of the, of the lamb, the liver of the goat, like goat liver or lamb liver. He used to like that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one of his favorite food is at tarid at-tarid what is at-tarid at-tarid is the leftover of the of the of the bread mixed with sauce marak you bring in like some sauce like water with whatever sauce right and then he would pour the sauce on that you know dry you know uh, uh leftover of the bread it so that the bread becomes soft and then he will eat that sallallahu that was his favorite you know his favorite food sallallahu alayhi wasallam he used to like olive oil, والسلام, he used to like cheese, al-jubn, al-jubn, you know, he used to like that cheese, uh, al-khal, vinegar, he used also to like vinegar, وسلم, and of course, barley bread, you know, he used to like khubz al-shaid, from the fawakih, from the fruits, the, the his favorite fruits, وسلم, he used to like the quantalup and watermelon, both the yellow and the red. This was his favorite ones. He also used to like uh, a roman, pomegranate. A roman, pomegranate. He used to like pomegranate as well. Sallallahu alayhi wa He used to like grapes. He used to like grapes as well. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to like zabib. Zabib means uh, 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 raisins. He used to like raisins as well. You know, dried uh, zabib. He used to like that. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to like dates, especially the ajwa dates. He used to like the ajwa dates, which is in Medina. And al-rutab. Al-rutab is that other type of dates, which is kind of like a, a kind of dry, you know, hard, you know, uh, al-rutab. And sometimes they sell them. Even here now, they, you know, in the, we have them in Canada. Sometimes we, they get them, you know, imported from, uh, from, uh, from uh, you know, Saudi or from uh, uh, the Arab Peninsula. You know, they, they get them imported. You know this rotab is really you know when it when it become when it when you let them for some time they become so soft they really they're so sweet they're really good you know rotab and he used to also like al asal 
Al-Asr, honey. These are his favorite fruits, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. With, uh, with regard to the, the vegetables, what kind of uh, vegetables did Prophet Muhammad uh, used to like? Are you guys following me, brothers and sisters? I'm giving you so much detail about Prophet Muhammad, you know, uh, diet. This is his diet, what he likes and what he did not like, things that he used to like to eat. So are you following me so far, brothers and sisters, those of you on Facebook and those of you on Instagram, right? With regard to what he used to like eating, are you guys still with me here, brothers and sisters? Those of you out there, Facebook, are you what? All right, you're following. Zakumullah khair. Yes, yes. All right. So, with regard to the uh, vegetables, he used to like uh, pumpkin, al qara, pumpkin. You know, zucchini, cucumber, cucumber. He used to like also cucumber, al faqus. In Arabic, we still call it al faqus, faqus, the green one, the green faqus. Right. He used to like uh, al qara. Al Akhdar or Khiyar, Al Khiyar. In Morocco, we call it Al Khiyar. Al Khiyar in Morocco. You know, Nawal, Nawal, she's there. Layla, she's there. We call it Al Khiyar. Although you guys are Rifi. You guys are Rifi. I don't even know if you guys speak Arabic. You're Rifi. But we call it Al Khiyar. I don't know if you guys call it. I don't know if you call it. In, in Rifi, you call it Khiyar. Uh, uh, I don't know what you guys call it in Morocco. But, you know, Al Khiyar is like, you know, the cucumber. He used to like that, alayhi salatu salam. He used to like uh, pumpkin, alayhi salatu, but he did not eat chocolate. <laughs> I like that one, Layla. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> but I'll tell you about the sweets that he used to like, by the way. I, I tell you. Uh, you guys, you know, just, I don't know. We call it khiyar in Arabic, in Arabic. <laughs> He also used to like eating, you know, tarid, the tarid, as I mentioned earlier, a tarid with, uh, with, with the meat and pumpkin on top, al qara, right? You know, what is, what is that green pumpkin called? So there are two types. There's the, uh, the, the, uh, the orange one, and there's this one that is uh, green. It has a name, right? It's a big, it's like cucumber, but it's not cucumber, but it's a green kind of uh, uh, pumpkin. I don't know, I forgot what it's called, yeah? So the Prophet Muhammad, you, he, he would put that on the, on the tarid and he would eat it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or he used to eat a, a tamar bi zibad, you know, like butter, uh, <laughs> and tamar, like dates with, with butter, dates with butter, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, or even sometimes dates with bread. He would eat dates with bread, with barley bread, sallallahu alayhi yeah, squash, not zucchini. Maybe squash. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. You know, but he eats a qara. He would eat that. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then also sometimes bread. You know, he would you know dip it with water to make it soft, and then with al malh wal with uh, with the vinegar and and salt, salt and vinegar. You know, salt and vinegar, and then with with the, and he would just dip some water, you know, some bread in it, and he would eat it. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know. Uh, he used to like halwa. He used to like halwa. You may say Layla, you may say chocolate, right? You may say chocolate. So Prophet Muhammad used to like sweets as well. He had a sweet tooth. He had a sweet tooth just like me. He had a sweet tooth just like me. He used to like sweets. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Yeah. Yeah, he used to like al halwa. Halwa. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Things that he did not like to eat, you know, uh, um, uh, tom, garlic, garlic, except if it's cooked. But if it's not cooked, he would not, you know, he would not eat it because it would leave a bad, you know, smell in, in his breath. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or raw onions. I mean, onions, if they're cooked, of course, but if they're not cooked, he would not. There's some people that just take an onion and they just, ah, they would just eat the onion like that. Man, stay, stay. You can eat that, but stay back, man. Just stay far. You know? No, don't do that, man. Don't, don't fool me. Right? So if it's cooked, he would eat it, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But if it's raw, he would stay away from it. You know, onion. And uh, yeah, raw onions and uh, raw uh, garlic. He would stay away from them. 
unless they're cooked. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabina Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabina Muhammad. Allahumma salli. Oh, brothers and sisters, something very, very important. Something very, very important. Those of you from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, those of you who eat spicy food, كان لا يحب الحر كان صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يحب الحر قال ليس فيه بركة الله أكبر لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله 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 he did not like to eat spicy, hot, spicy food. Like, like, like uh, spicy food. No, he didn't like that. He said there's no barakah in it. But you people in your culture, eat all you want. I mean, you, you guys put it even with fruits. I don't know how you do that. You know, for me, it's a bid'ah. For me, it's a bid'ah. When you, when you put, uh, you have a fruit, fruit, fruit salad and then you put uh, spices in it. But it's a good bid'ah because I like it too. <laughs> I like it, <laughs> but but Prophet Muhammad did not like had you know had spicy food. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would stay away from it. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Muhammad. And then after he finishes his food, he says, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, aladhi atamani hada wa razaqni min khairi hawli minni wa la quwa. Alhamdulillah, aladhi razaqni hada atamani hada wa razaqni min khairi hawli minni wa la quwa. Thanks, praise be to Allah who has fed me this. And he has blessed me with it without any power from me. No might, no power, except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except with Allah. So he would always end with Alhamdulillah. He would start with Bismillah and he would end with Alhamdulillah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. After Salat al-Isha, my brothers and sisters, you know, before going to sleep, as I mentioned, he would, you know, drink, uh, you know, like some milk. And sometimes he would also drink milk with asal. With asal. Sometimes, you know. If not, then he would just have hot milk with some bread or some cheese. If it's some cheese, if he had some uh, cheese, you know, he would have that. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam alayhi wa Muhammad. Because... You know, he wants, you want to sleep light. You want to remain light and sleep light. He would not eat, you know, heavy before going to sleep. No, he would just like have some, uh, uh, like a, you know, a loaf of bread, a small loaf of bread with some hot, you know, warm milk or, or, or you know, most, you know, or, or uh, uh, Laban Raib. You know, Laban Raib, Raib is like, uh, you know, that milk that becomes heavy. You let it, you know, until it becomes heavy. In Morocco, we call it a raib. It's like a milkshake, but it's not a milkshake, right? It's like milk, and then after some time, it becomes like heavy, right? He would he would drink that at night before going to sleep with a loaf of bread. It relaxes the body. And what loaf of bread I'm talking? You know, I'm I mentioned this. This is the uh, barley bread. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right? Barley bread. And then that he will remain, you know, that, that way he would stay light and he would sleep light. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But this is not before going home. This is just for his dinner. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So brothers and sisters, this is the diet of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam. Other than that, I think we have uh, uh, spent you know, amazing, great time with Prophet Muhammad Islam. We're ready to go back and resume maybe the seerah and go back to, you know, after he moved to Medina, what else happened after he came back from Mecca and started this new life in Medina, uh, uh, structuring, uh, structuring the, uh, the uh, you know, like putting some structures, putting some, uh, uh, laying out some foundation, uh, not only for the masjid, but the foundation and 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 you know, to to start 
uh, this new uh, new system as he's building a new system in Medina you know new laws new new regulations uh, you know so what would he do the first thing he did when he moved to Medina we said he built the masjid but after that what did he do he gave his first speech and after he gave that first speech what did he do he called for brotherhood and unity between brothers and sisters great but then what else did he do that is very very important because I'm, a, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the leader now I'm the ruler I am the prophet I'm the ruler I'm going to rule Medina he has to do something what is it that he's going to do we will talk about that inshallah ta'ala tomorrow inshallah brothers and sisters did you want me to start you know, going with prophet Muhammad and talking more about him talking more about him you know like we've been doing you know spending a day with him and and then doing things or do you want me to go back and follow the the, the seerah of the prophet what do you think i should do do you think i should just like you know he's going here and then something happens and they tell you about what happened you know sometimes we'll come out from you know uh, the, the the narrating, you know, the seed of the prophet going, you know, talking about Badr, talking about Uhu, talking, or should we maybe sometimes spend some time and talk about some incidents that happened and derive lessons? What do you think we should do? What do you think we should do? Should I go back and teach the seed and follow the seed, or should I uh, spend more time with him? Okay. You people like spending more time with the Prophet Muhammad Both, if possible. Stories of the Prophet. Well, I already did stories of the Prophets. You can always go back and watch them. We finished that series already. About his day, his persona and life. Okay. His persona and life. And that's what we've been doing. A little more time getting to know him. Okay. So inside. All right. Cool. Uh, most other seals I've heard don't go into the day today. So this is that's why I said this is life. This is walking with the prophet, not just uh, not just you know seerah of the prophet. This is walking with the prophet upon the footsteps of the prophet Muhammad So okay, inshallah Taala, we'll spend more time with him, and then yeah, we will talk about the seerah. We will go to talk about Badr. We will talk about the preparation for Badr and why Badr, and then we'll talk about Uhud and so on and so forth. But at the same time, we'll be spending some time. With Prophet Muhammad as Alright, right, brothers and sisters, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala. Azakumullah khair. Thank you so much for joining. Those of you on Facebook, thank you. Jazakumullah khair. Those of you on Instagram, Azakumullah khair. Thank you for joining. May Allah bless you. May Allah reward you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.